M0 FXB Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. Okay, well, someone tell me what to do. Tell me how to connect to the internet. Tell me how to download um, FTA or other similar programs. I, I, I understand that, see the, uh, the USB cable on the sides here. That you got, I understand to get audio, you can link them together. So you link the DV, D, DEV port with the host port on the side. I understand that apparently. Um, but it's quite cool running this. Uh, settings there, lots of settings. Bluetooth adapter, let's click that. See what comes up. And it's not super fast, but it's usable. Visibility settings hidden. So I put always visible. There you go. How do we even save that? Did that save it? Okay, always visible. And uh, it's not showing up on my phone. I am scanning it. Let's go. Settings, settings manager, panel. Ah, does that mean we can get a keyboard? Ah, look at this, the X6100 has now come up. I'll just show you that. When I put it visible, it's now showing up. So obviously we are getting Bluetooth now. That's quite nice, isn't it? So, What's this one here? Panel preferences, appearance, display. So yeah, okay. Now the next one would be the Wi-Fi. I'd like to get the the Wi-Fi connected. Let me play. Oh, it says here. Look, if you look here, no network connections. So available networks. Ah, it's look. There you are. So that's good. So we're going to go uh, Mercury which is my what I want to connect to and we're going to need to get the password in there so I'll just go and grab my keyboard because I can't see a way of doing on-screen keyboard someone tell me so I'm just going to grab my keyboard and just plug it into the into the USB connector here that I've got let's get onto the internet see if we can get on the browser right got the keyboard in and all you do is to, to change things hit the tab because I haven't got a keyboard and mouse and then it will, when you get to the right thing, it will sort of highlight it. And now we're going to chart, put in the password for my uh, internet. Password's in, then we're going to hit enter. So it's not a strong signal up here for this, but um, actually I might have it. It might be connected to my phone. So I've got my mobile hotspot on, so that's going to help. Right, let's go to browser. Let's find browser. Annoyingly, I've got to plug in my uh, mouse again. But anyway, it's all fun. Right, maybe if I had a double adapter, it would work actually. I might have one somewhere. Anyway, so. Yeah, I did have one actually somewhere. I'll have to have a hunt. It'd be a lot easier, wouldn't it? Applications, and then we're going to look for brow web browser here. I can still hear the radio in the background. And then we're going to put in... Um, I didn't remember searching anything, so... Sorry, not found. Okay, is it online? Are we online? Available networks, Mercury. Yeah, we might have to get nearer. I think I'm going to have to get nearer to my uh, internet, so one sec. Okay, that time it said connection established. This came up here at the top. Look, look, you've got the. It's quite small, but you've got it up there. But there's connection. So we can get Bluetooth and Wi Fi, which is quite cool. Now we're going to try do WebSDR. So we're going to type in WebSDR. Right, WEB. SDR, enter, see what we can get, 
Like I said, the, the internet isn't great up here. It's definitely doing something. Oh, Google. I don't really want to sign in now. Right, we'll accept all. Okay, WebSDR. Let's choose one. So we're on to their page. And, uh, yeah, I'm not used to using this, but I can see that it is working. So it's very cool. I'm wondering what the, how you get the audio. Let's choose one I recognize. Um, oh, there's a lot here, isn't there? I'm going to choose this one. And let it go to it. So yeah. It's definitely working. It's working at a reasonable speed, really. I would say. You probably just have to enable sound and things like that. Sure that it's not I don't actually use web web SDR very often. Let's go back to the web browser. And then we'll put in something like QRZ. Yeah, just searching QRZ now. Alright, so we're on QRZ. There's me. And uh so yeah, we can scroll through that. And I'm just thinking in theory I could put in my um my Pi Star as well, you know, my and look at my dashboard. Probably use Ze or at least view Zello, you know, is my um yeah, probably download Zello, would you reckon? Yeah, lots of possibilities. I mean I don't know the memory and the storage and all that kind of stuff, but just thinking out loud, Echo Link. So to me, you know, this is pretty good. Don't forget, I just lit clicked a link, um, put the image on an SD card, loaded it up. I'll click that. I'll select that. I'll show you that other video of me doing that. And I'm here using my Zygu X6100 as a PC. Now, would I do that? You know, I've got my phone, I've got my PC. No, I wouldn't do this normally. Why, why would I? I don't really need to. But it's very handy. Imagine if you're out on the field and you haven't got your phone, haven't got all these things, but you've bought your, your HF radio and you can use it as a full PC. Yeah, you need some, um, if you want internet, Bluetooth, all that. I mean, it opens up massive doors. So I'll post this video and I think you'll find it interesting. And thanks to Scott, who put this on Facebook and to the the person who's, who's made the image which I'll put all the links in the description as, as I as I find more info so yeah I think this is fun and um, if we just turn it off like so we're going to turn it off completely like so it's off I'm going to unplug the USB that I've been using take out the SD card as well which I shall keep because that will be like my when I want to use a PC on on the on the X6, I've got it on the SD card. I'm going to turn it on like normal. And fingers crossed, we're back to just using a normal HF radio. Sorry about all the glare here. There you go. I haven't got an antenna in at the moment. But look, everything's working fine. ATU, all working fine. So come on, how good is that? All you've got to do is carry around an SD card and you've got a, P a PC with you. I think that's brilliant. Thanks everyone, thanks for watching. 73, catch you on air. Please remember to hit that subscribe and like uh, button. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So this is the first sort of plug and go Ambien that I found uh, running the sort of Linux system. I don't, I've never used this system. I'll put a link in the description of how you can download this and install it. I'll, I'll add the, a link to the video I've made installing mine um, so look you've got applications run program terminal emulator file manager um, web browser mail reader 
So it's like a mini little PC, internet. You can see Bluetooth there. I've seen it, it says connect to the internet, Wi-Fi, VNC viewer. You've got a browser, so you can go on to WebSDR. You can hear in the background, the radio is actually still there. Now I don't know how, if I can just minimize or anything. Um, you know, we've got suspend, shut down, restart, log out. Now the login was root and the password was one, two, three, four. Got all these things here, date, connect to Wi-Fi. I double click Bluetooth. Let's have a look here. Turn Bluetooth off. You know, how do we connect devices? Let's have a little look. Now my phone is on. Uh, let's see if it will find something. Uh, like I said, never used it, but it's interesting. Don't forget, I'm on an X6100, so... And just to stop this from working, obviously I can connect a keyboard and a mouse, but to stop this from working, I just... All I do is take the SD card out. Um, and just let it boot up as normal. It's running 1.15, or the latest version, July 2022. Adapter search. Let's do search. It's doing its search. Now, I haven't gone into the settings and turned on Bluetooth. So that'll be interesting. It's not. Is it showing anything? Now, just quickly go into the settings, see if it even lets me go into settings. No, it's not. So you are, you, maybe you should turn it on before. I don't know. View. Show. Help. Da, 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 adapter. See, it says X6100. What does that do if I hit that? Preferences. We can control the volume. Bluetooth manager. Bluetooth adapters. Okay. Um, 